welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel. I already have my summer 2019 FabFitFun box, my summer box with the add-ons. It's here and it is large and I am so very happy. This quarter a few of us have decided to make a little YouTuber tag out of our summer unboxings and I am going to give a shout out to Chip from Moment with Chip. I will link her channel below. She does unboxings too. She just started to do FabFitFun unboxings and she does a bunch of other awesome stuff on her channel you should go check her out her box shipped and I believe she'll be getting hers in a few days from now and then the second youtuber I'm gonna give a shout out to is Rachel M and last I talked to her her box hadn't shipped yet but definitely check her channel out subscribe if you haven't already she does a whole bunch of really fun girly makeup type videos as well that concludes the tag portion of this video and now I'm gonna go ahead and unbox all of this amazing stuff let's see I spent two hundred and fifty ish dollars or so when all was said and done as always I will put a list of everything in this box that I ordered below along with what I paid. The first thing is the Luxie brushes. If you have been subscribed to my channel a while and you've been watching me, you know that I've started to play with makeup more and more, especially I've been curious about how to do different eyeshadow looks. And so this is a Luxie Eye Essential Rose Gold Collection Brush Set. And people said that this was really, really good. There was a crown set available that I did not hear good things about. So it looks like this. This is how it arrived, the packaging. They sure are cute. So they look like this. I will do a get ready with me when I use them and I will show you how they actually perform. And then I got the Grown Alchemist Hydro Store Cream Cleanser. So people actually had kind of, there were mixed reviews on this cleanser, but I love trying Grown Alchemist things. I have said on my channel before that I haven't loved everything that I've tried, but I just really like them because they are all about being cruelty free and using botanical ingredients, non-toxic ingredients. And so I just really, really like trying out their stuff because because that aligns with kind of the direction I'm trying to go with my beauty regimen is cruelty free non-toxic so I love trying their stuff see if I like it and so this is the cream cleanser the hydro restore cream cleanser olive leaf plantago extract I always have something that I can't really pronounce so I got one of those and then I did end up getting two of the polishing facial exfoliants with pink grapefruit and glucomanon extract and this one this one is oh yeah so with the close of the sale there were some out-of-stock issues again which that's one thing that people have been complaining about with FabFitFun it doesn't bother me so much because they didn't bill me I had the tribal live hairpin which I thought was really really cute and they didn't bill, bill me so they took it out of my car they sent an email it was fine it was not a big deal but some people were really not happy about that and this was one of the things the grown alchemist facial exfoliant and I was able to snag two of them but the people who added the items that turned out to be out of stock later on in the sale, they didn't get their items. But so I'm sorry if you didn't get this. I got to, I love this stuff. This is by far my favorite Grown Alchemist product that I have tried. So I got that. Oh, I did get two of these. I thought I deleted one from my cart. That's fine. So this is the Hey Honey Walk the Walk Propolis and Heal Foot Cream. And I have one of these. I really, really like this foot cream. My husband really, really likes this foot cream. So I ordered another one for us and then I ordered a second one as a gift for Christmas that I'm just gonna put in my gift pile. Having a gift pile, if you don't have a gift pile, I highly recommend it. I have been able to have a more decent gift pile since joining FabFitFun, so that's really awesome. If you don't know or you didn't see my past video, Propolis, if you are vegan, you don't wanna try this because Propolis is is a bee derived ingredient it is it's like their bee glue and it is a substance that comes from their saliva mixed with tree sap it, is, it functions as a glue to, for them to build their nests so propolis is not a vegan ingredient and this I do think has pegs in it otherwise it's it's an excellent foot cream. We really like the way it smells. So I got two of those. Oh, even though I already have a pair of the blue light blocking glasses, I got these in the tortoise shell because they were $5 and I just thought they were so cute and I don't need glasses. And sometimes I feel like because of that, I'm missing out on a really cute accessory. 
So I just actually, more than the blue light blocking aspect, I just wanted them. I think they're so cute. And these were $5, I'm excited about that. And then I got, okay, the smell test. This is the blue oil, the 10 degrees cooler blue oil that people were saying smells awful, but even the people that were saying it smells awful were highly recommending this. This is uh, what the box looks like. It comes wrapped like this, and it says pretty things inside. That's cute. The FabFitFun sale price was $29 for this, and it retails for, I think, 100 and something. It's really pretty. I'm so nervous to smell it. Here we go. I'm so nervous. It's not very strong. To me, it's not very strong at all. Honestly, it's not very strong. It's not all that bad of a smell. Smell, it's... It's not like the greatest smell, but people were really freaking me out because one person on the forum said it smelled like burnt tires and I was like, great, okay, but still people were saying it was worth it. I don't think it smells all that bad. It's fine. Okay, I'm excited to see the magic that this thing is supposed to be able to perform. I bought a bunch of r Co stuff, so I am going to officially try a bunch of their things and let you know what I think about their line of products. I did try one thing, which was a scalp scrub by them, and it didn't work out for me, but some people love scrub, scalp scrub. So so I do need some shampoo and conditioner, so I went ahead and I picked this little thing. It comes with this pouch, and to be honest, this feels like, it feels like paper. It feels like I could tear it, but I can't, and it is actually a really sturdy bag. It comes with this little sticker on the front. Let me see if I can, yeah, that's coming off. Kind of okay, not really okay. It, I should have been more careful trying to get it off. That was a little bit my fault. So what does this say? My hair is full of secrets. My hair is full of secrets. How is my hair full of secrets? So it came with the moisturizing shampoo and conditioner, and I did look this up and they had great reviews. And then it came with this little sample size of moisture and shine cream. I love creams in my hair. I love styling creams in my hair. I love shine creams in my hair. They tend to be a great uh, product that tops off my curls and gives them that extra definition, like a finishing touch product. And some people have been commenting on my hair lately. If you would like to see a video about how I take care of my hair, what I do after I get out of the shower to define my curls, let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to do a video like that. Here's another R & Co product, and this is the Defining Spray Gel. I'm a little bit nervous about this. I tend to find spray products just really suffocating. This is a really good size, uh, but there was somebody on the forum who posted a picture of her hair after she used it, and it looked really really good so i'm gonna test this out and see how well it works and i will let you guys know if you're new to my channel i always do reviews on all the products that i end up using oh you guys they accidentally gave me two of these that's a mistake that works in my favor what should i do i guess i'll email them i can't imagine them wanting me to bother sending it back what would you do? I kind of think I should just keep one and gift it. Or maybe it'll go in a giveaway. They did not charge me for two. Here it is. Right there. And you can see right here, one. Cool. <laughs> oh, this didn't. This box didn't really survive the trip, but this did. This is my second exfoliant. My second Grin Alchemist exfoliant. Boy, oh boy. I wonder how that happened. Oh, I did end up getting this. I kind of forgot. Uh, so this is the Wonder Beauty Exquisite Eyeshadow, Liquid Eyeshadow. This had really, really good reviews. I'm excited to try some stuff by Wonder Beauty. They had a couple of Wonder Beauty kits that I ended up deleting from my cart because I need to, where are my scissors? I needed to cut my cost my cart down. So I didn't get them that time, but it was the first time I'd ever seen them. So hopefully they'll show up again and I can have an opportunity to get them in a future sale. I am saving up for a new laptop. So I had to make sure that I didn't overspend so that I can get a new laptop and I can bring you bigger, better videos. Okay, so this is the color. I got the one that was the more rose color. And you know, this is really true to the picture that was on the sales site, but I feel like this is extremely subtle. We're going to swatch this now. So that's how it applied. That's how it applied. 
super subtle. Actually, I will use this in a get ready with me in the future and I will let you know what I think of how it works. Oh, I really want to try something with niacinamide in it. It is something that I have not given my skin and that is an ingredient that is vitamin B3 and I love Terramere products. It, it, I've said it many times, the Terramere is a lovely, lovely organic vegan skincare line and I am really excited to try. I have read in a few, more than one place, heard from more than one person that we should see our skincare like we see what we eat. If we keep feeding our skin only one or two things, our skin will feel deprived of other kinds of nutrients. So I am adding this one. It is Terramere Niacinamide and Algae Revitalizing Night Cream, anti-aging. And then this had really good reviews and I don't know what to expect. So it looks like this, Urban Skin RX, three in one treatment combination skin cleansing bar. So they had two of these available in the sale. One was more appropriate for dry to normal skin and the other was more appropriate for normal to oily skin. And so I got the dry to normal because I have dry skin. And I, I don't know much about this other than when I looked them up to see what the reviews were. There were a lot of them and they were four and a half stars or so. So I went ahead and tossed one in my cart because when there's a product in the sales that has reviews like that, like I'm saying hundreds of reviews and it had four and a half stars. I want to try it. So it's not sealed on top. It comes with these like pads, two of them. There are two of these pads. Directions, moisten enclosed sponge and create a creamy lather. And it looks like this, it's not sealed unless I'm not seeing something. No, it's not sealed. It looks like a rosin. And it says, moisten an enclosed sponge and create a creamy lather. Massage onto face, rinse off. You can allow the lather to remain on the skin for up to three minutes. Rinse with warm water and pat dry. Use once or twice per day. After rinsing sponge, wring out excess moisture. Do not place back inside jar. Allow to dry on top of the lid of the jar. So it's a face wash. I didn't purchase this. I didn't buy this. They put something else in my box that I did not buy. This is the second thing that I did not purchase that is in my box. Uh, green Goo Bugs Be Gone. I wonder what the ingredients are on this. Witch Hazel, alcohol, distilled water, organic yarrow, organic sage, organic catnip, citric acid, and then some essential oils. Does not contain petroleum, mineral oil, parabens, DEET, or citronella. Oh, so I wonder if I, my husband and I are trying for a family. I wonder if I get pregnant, if this would be pregnancy friendly because there's no DEET. If you know anything about it, let me know. Uh, the ingredients are right here. Maybe Maybe this is kind of a mistake that works in my favor. I guess it is a mistake that works in my favor. They included everything that I ordered and then they added a couple things that I did not order. I think that there's something else in here because everything that I ordered I've seen so far. Oh, they! I thought they canceled this item. This is the free promotional item. The FabFitFun style. It feels kind of cheapy. Oh, and mine's broken. So it's supposed to, it has the sticker here. That's broken already. Oh, okay. I don't know if there was something that was supposed to be in it. Oh, five lucky members win free styling fees for a year. Schedule your FabFitFun style books to enter. Essentially, I don't know if there was something that was supposed to be in this because it's the seal's broken. But it's just telling me to go ahead and sign up for Stylebox, and if I do, I'll be entered to win free styling fees for a year. I'm not really that much into the style boxes where it's a recurring subscription because I would just, I don't need them that often. I like thread up goodie boxes because you can do them one time whenever you want to, and it's only $10, and the $10 goes toward what you keep. On to the box. So here is the box. Super pretty. And then what does the inside look like? There it is with the magazine that features Ava Longoria from Desperate Housewives. That's how I mainly know her. Now what is HelloFresh giving us? $80 gift card. My first box was a $50 gift card. The second box is $60. And I think the third box, they forgot to include it. And now it's $80. So I just showed that to you. If anyone wants to grab that code and use it, I am not going to. Family, friends, sun, sea, and fun, fun. You deserve some summer, summer fun. If I'm gifting you $15 off your first, oh okay. It's trying to get me to recruit FabFitFun members. 
members, which I already do through my channel, I know, so it's good enough. Okay, so let's get into this. I am finally going to get to try the Boom Boom Cream and the Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. I was wondering, I didn't look closely enough. This is the travel size. There is a full size container, but this was so raised about when I first joined FabFitFun and I missed the boat. They didn't have it available anymore, so I was excited that this was a selection. So I went ahead and picked it. So I'm going to go ahead and smell this and see if I like it just as much as everybody else. It's nice. It's a nice smell. I think, you know when something's really, really hyped up and then you get to try it and, or like movies, this happens to me with movies. When something's really hyped up and then you go see it and it's, it doesn't help that it was hyped. It's, it's almost like it had too much to live up to with the hype, and then I ended up liking it less than I would have had it not been hyped. I think that's what's happening. It's it's pleasant. It might go on a gift pile, but it's pleasant. So let's try this. Does this, I wonder, smell? Okay, so this is sealed. If this smells the same, maybe I can go in somewhere and smell this. I think this is only sold at Sephora though, and I don't have one in my town. That was a item that you could select. These are items that everybody got. I'm gonna do my selection items first. So this was one of my selection items. This is a healing balm, and I'm really excited about this. Dr. Rogers Restore Healing Balm. The way it was touted on the website was that it has so many uses, so I can't wait to use it for so many things things. This is also sealed. Again, I do reviews on everything that I use, so I will tell you what I think of it once I open it and use it. Here is, this is a little guy. I didn't look at what size this was going to be. I mentioned that I really like styling creams for my hair as a finishing touch on my curls. I'm really excited to try this. I don't know if you heard though. I'm going cruelty free with my beauty products. I will branch out into other realms of my existence at some point, but right now I'm focusing on beauty products. Living Proof just sold itself to Unilever. Unilever is not cruelty free. They are a big giant corporation. They own so many of the products that you use and you know every small startup small company has a dream that one day they will be purchased for millions and millions of dollars by some big corporation and that they can go retire and good for them but I can't really go around supporting them anymore because I'm working on this cruelty-free thing. So that's a big bummer, and I found that out last week. I'm still excited to try this because I do really enjoy using Living Proof products. I still have some. I will cherish them and I will nurse them because I can't repurchase them. Not that I can't, I won't. Won't is the word. I won't repurchase them. So that's, that's too bad. So that was another customization item. And then this was another customization item. This is the Grace and Stella tote. And I'm excited to try something by Grace and Stella. So it feels like a nice thick canvas. It's got the cute rope handles and it's very summery and it's nice and spacious. Oh, this isn't Grace and Stella. Oh, I said Grace and Stella because there's something by Grace and Stella right here. This is Summer and Rose, forgive me. So I am very happy with this. This is a cute summery tote bag. It doesn't zipper, um, it just has a little button, but that's okay. This is cute. I am, I am, I'm pleased with this. I wouldn't, you know, walk into a store and think, oh, I need to have that bag, but I'm pleased with this. There's one more customization item, and for this one I picked the necklace, Jennifer, Jennifer Zuner. She actually, I have been pretty hard on FabFitFun for their jewelry and the quality of the jewelry they have available and I do still think that a lot of it isn't the best quality but somebody prompted me to explore that further my cozy Minnesota life she's on YouTube and she said that she's actually gotten some pretty decent stuff so I am a lot of the times I just don't like the material that jewelry is made of and that is the problem that I have with it this is the star necklace it's gold I don't typically wear gold it's tangled old. Oh, if I could count the hours in my life I have spent detangling jewelry. Oh, I mean, it's very pretty. It's very dainty. You know what? It's very, very pretty. And this one is, I believe, stainless steel. So that's, that's a perfectly fine material. So I just don't, I really don't like it when they're, uh, plated brass or rhodium or just uh, alloy, some of them will say in the description. So I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, you know what I do like a lot is, I don't know if you can see, but there are a few different 
uh, jump chains on there where you can pick how long you want the necklace to be. I'm gonna pick the middle one. That's pretty. That's really, really pretty. It's much daintier than I thought, but that's nice. I like that. I like that. Now, this is a spoiler. This is what everyone got in their boxes. I have a lot of clay masks. This is Generation Clay Brightening Purple Clay Mask. I remember they had some Generation Clay clay masks available in a sale once, and people were saying really, really good things about it, so I'm excited. I just have a lot of clay masks, and clay masks last a very, very long time, so I will get to this eventually. And then here is another thing that everybody got. This is a, an exfoliating foot mask from Wish. The bottle looks like this. Oh, Verbena. I'm not a fan of Verbena. Directions for use. Use ideally at bedtime, apply liberally to that desired area and let dry, go to bed, and awake with softer feet. Rinse after eight to 12 hours. What are the ingredients in this? Oh, it says here, exfoliate papa in willow bark extract, polish, pumpkin seed extract, orange fruit extract, lemon fruit extract. Those were the things that I thought were the exfoliators. Soothe and smooth, bromelain, black tea leaf extract. Verbena, I, um, so I am not a fan of the scent Verbena. It is lemon, but it often smells and reminds me of Lemon Pledge, and it is a deal breaker often for me, but some people really love it, so I'm usually alone in that. Okay, oh, and then we got some Invisibobbles, which is awesome. I have plenty. I got clear and cream. This would work well in blondes, I bet. Yeah, so I got clear and cream. I don't know, this might get thrown into a giveaway because I have so many of these. Okay, and then the last thing is this Grace and Stella Spray All Day Face Spray. It's Rose Face Spray. Honestly, I liked Rose Face Spray when I first tried it a couple years ago, but now I just feel like it's everywhere and I've been getting these boxes. There was a Rose Face Spray in the Cause box in spring and I gave that away as a birthday present to a coworker, and then now this is the Grace and Stella one and it is a large bottle of rose face spray. Let's see how this sprays. Usually I am more interested in a bottle that sprays well as opposed to the contents of the bottle. So let's, well of course unless the ingredients are not so good for us. Hydrolyzed collagen. So let's see how this sprays. Very rosy, which is fine. It's a perfectly fine, pleasant scent, but for me, it's just, I, I think that I need to love rose a little bit more to want to be sprayed in the face with the scent. So this is gonna be a gift, which is awesome. Like I was saying earlier in my video, having a pile of emergency gifts is such a life saver, and this is a decent emergency gift. So super excited to add this to it. <laughs> that concludes my unboxing of my summer add-ons and box, and if you haven't subscribed, please consider are doing so again I am tagging chip for moment with chip her channel is linked below and I'm also tagging Rachel M from Rachel M I'm also linking her channel below and I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you later bye